fruit cake is a delicious festive recipe relished all over the world. This fruit cake is a simpler and easier version of making the traditional fruit cake. The cake is filled with loads of juicy plumpy raisins and many other dried fruits and it has that beautiful aroma of spices that makes the cake more flavorful. And in this recipe, the dried fruits are boiled in liquid to soften and plump them up before they are added into the cake batter. And so this fruit cake is so moist even without any prior soaking of fruits. And you will also be glad that this is one of the least messy ways that we can make a fruit cake. We don't need a stand mixer or hand mixer to make this cake. A saucepan and a wooden spoon are the prime tools to make this easy cake. So let's see how to make this simple and easy fruit cake. So let's start by boiling the dried fruits. We are going to boil those dried fruits along with some butter, sugar molasses and some water we are not adding the nuts into the boiling mixture and i don't want to boil these dried plums and dates as well they are already very soft and juicy so we'll be boiling these dried cranberries and these raisins and you can use dried fruits and nuts of your choice by making your fruit cake and we can adjust the measurements according to our preference and so into a saucepan add in the butter then sugar and if you have molasses you can add three tablespoons of molasses or else you can add three tablespoons of uh, brown sugar adding molasses and brown sugar can give that a beautiful dark brown color to a cake and also it can bring a beautiful caramel flavor to a cake and then adding the raisins and the cranberries and some water and take the pan onto the stout top. And stir over medium heat and bring it to boil. And once it starts to boil, simmer it for three to four minutes. And then remove from heat and let it cool down. And meanwhile, let's prepare our cake pan. Grease the bottom of the pan with some butter and line it with a parchment paper. And as fruit cakes need a longer baking time, I'm giving an extra lining with parchment paper to protect our cake from any over brownie. Now let's prepare the flour mix. We are going to add all of these spices and flavors and baking powder into the flour. The taste of a fruit cake is mostly from the aroma of that cake and I want that fresh aroma of spices to get into our cake batter and that's why I didn't add the spices into the boiling mixture. So add in the baking powder, cinnamon powder, ground all spices salt and zest of one orange and lemon into the flour and give it a good stir to make sure all of these ingredients are evenly distributed in the flour. So now our flour mix is ready and now add three eggs into a small bowl and lightly beat them until we get a smooth egg mixture. Now into the next step that is to add in all of the rest of the ingredients into the saucepan. See our raisins and cranberries are now big plumpy and juicy and now I'm adding the dates and dried plums or prawns into this.
and then adding the chopped pecans and give everything a good stir. And then adding the beaten eggs. And give it a good mix. And then add the flour mix into this and combine everything together. And make sure there are no dry patches left behind. And now our cake batter is ready. Let's transfer this onto our prepared baking pan. Tap the pan on the counter a few times to remove any large air spaces in between. And now it's ready to go into the oven. Fruit cakes need to be baked in a slow oven or lower baking temperature for a longer time. So bake it at 320 Fahrenheit preheated oven for 75 to 90 minutes or until a toothpick or a skewer inserted into the center comes out clean. We can tint the top of the cake with an aluminum foil after 50 minutes of baking to prevent any chance of overbrowning on top. And after baking, remove the cake from oven and let it cool down in the pan itself for 30 to 40 minutes and then let it finish cooling on a cooling rack. As we are not feeding the cake with alcohol to give some flavor and also to make it more appealing to our eyes, I'm brushing the surface of the cake with some light apricot jam. And if we slice this cake on the same day, the cake may seem buttery and crumbly and won't be that flavorful. And so it's better to wait for the next day to slice our fruit cake. The smell, taste and flavor of fruit cake is so much better the next day. And I'm a big fan of fruit cakes and this is one of my favorite recipes for making fruit cake. And I hope you like this a simple fruit cake recipe. Hope you found it easy to make and I hope you will make this at home and please let me know how it turned out for you. And if you like this video, please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this with your friends and family who love fruit cakes. And thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video and wish you a very blessed and happy Christmas. Mm -hmm.